Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well, this is Chetan here from Design Pilot and I am back again today with another video and this is, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the features released in the August 2018 update for Adobe XD. We've got only three features released this time but there is an important, amazing, fantastic news that Adobe released uh, recently, I'm not sure if you guys know but I'll let you guys know in this video so without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, now here I am in Adobe XD and before we get into the actual features, for those of you who are new to Adobe XD or trying to w understand what Adobe XD is and how to get started with Adobe XD, uh, I recommend you check out my latest video on how I teach you how to design a user interface for the iPhone 10, and you can also check out my top 20 features of Adobe XD video. Uh, I'll leave all the links down below in the description to get you started, uh, so hope that helps. Alright, so the first feature is about rearranging the assets in the asset panel. Uh, all right, so this was just a free icon pack that I got online. Uh, it's uh, it's called Streamline Icons. I love, I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to download it. And there is a paid version which has around 1,000 icons, I believe. So uh, definitely uh, check that out if you're interested. So it's pretty simple. As you can see, I have colors, I have character styles, and I have symbols, all right? Now the feature is I can select one item and move it up or I can hold down control or command on my keyboard, select multiple items and move them and rearrange them. This works for symbols and the character styles. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So the next feature is about exporting assets through design specs. So developers can now automatically download the assets which you have marked for export and uh, you don't have to separately share the files with them. They, you can just you just have to share the link of the prototype and they can download all the assets that they want. Uh, I'll, let me show you how it works. So basically you need to select, you as the designer need to select and mark the assets as uh, for export. So as a designer, it's your responsibility to mark the assets that the developer can download. He won't be able to download all the assets. Uh, you need to mention which assets are downloadable. So if I select this icon and uh, let's go back to the layers panel and uh, I can select this which says mark for batch export. That's pretty cool. And if I click on this icon, I can click on this one also and choose mark for batch export. A pretty cool feature would be if I could right click and then just choose batch export. Uh, I mean, instead of going and selecting it and clicking on this icon, it would be much easier and simple. Uh, so if Adobe XD Steam's watching it, uh, please do implement that. That would be pretty cool. All right, so since we have two assets now done, we can go into the share and we can choose publish design specs. And uh, as you can see over here, we have the title and export for. Now, depending on what you're exporting this for, if it's going to be an Android app, if it's going to be an iOS app, or it's going to be a website, uh, you can um, select the respective option. And as you can see, it says two assets and, um, and you can export the asset in SVG, PDF, PNG at 1x and PNG at 2x. Let's say if I choose iOS, uh, I get the same options, but PNG is now 3x. And if I choose Android, uh, we get these various options. All right, so I'm just going to choose web and I'm going to click on create public link. And now that my link has been created, I can either copy the link or I can click on this button to open it up in the browser. All right, so here is uh, my screen. So I can click and uh, zoom onto this. And as you can see, I get the assets that I have marked for export and I can select this and I can choose as SVG or whichever option I want. If I choose PNG, it's going to export it at 1x and 2x and all I have to do is click on download and uh, and it's going to download. Now moving on to our next feature, we now have the ability to tag people in the comments uh, to directly kind of notify that, them that this comment is for you. So uh, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just um, click and type in the at symbol and uh, all the people who you would have invited will mention and you just have to click and uh, you just uh, you can even go ahead and pin and click on this and then say change uh, color pretty much that's it and it automatically is going to send you an email notifying you that somebody has commented on your prototype pretty cool now the last feature is uh, about invite so you can click on the invite button and you can actually type in anybody's name or anybody's email address and uh, it's going to go ahead and add that on and they are going to appear in your um, user section uh, so for you to tag them and mention your comment so that's pretty great all right so moving into the last 
news, which is the big news. Um, Adobe XD now uh, has released a $10 million fund for developers to create plugins to uh, incorporate with Adobe XD. So as you can see on the screen over here, uh, we have Icon Scout, we have Dribble, we have Overflow, we have Trello, uh, we have Slack, we have Prototyper, we have so many different products that can be integrated with Adobe XD. These are not available right now, but these guys are working in creating plugins for Adobe XD. I'm uh, really looking forward to this. If you go ahead, I'm gonna link this article down below if you guys are interested, you can read that off. And as you can see, it says the initial set of plugins will be available later this year, but we are excited to announce that some of the first companies and products we've been working with, and you'll be able to extend Adobe XD with products, with plugins and product companies like Microsoft, Google, Cloud, Trello, user testing, AWB, Hans, Dribble, and so on and so forth. So uh, pretty cool, uh, definitely check this out. And as you can see, it mentions all the various things that you can do with the uh, plugin. So as you can see, it says GIF creation and empowers present and share beautiful user diagrams that tell a story. Pretty interesting. So this is the Adobe XD $10 million fund. So if you guys are interested in developing plugins, then definitely reach out to Adobe XD and get yourself a chance to build some plugins. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.